In today's video, we'll take a look at a very strange function inside the C standard that you probably have never heard about. That function's name was, is unget C. Before we get to it, let's start with a simple example. So suppose I want to read just one single character. I want to say here char C equals, I'm just going to use get char because that's the simplest way. I recently made a video about the get char and related functions to get char. You can check up top. Uh, but basically what it takes, what it does is simply taking from the standard input a single character. And let's say we want to print it on the screen. So I'm going to say here result percent C backslash N. And if I say here C and run this, <coughs> simple enough, if I type in S and enter, I'm going to get S inside the variable. You know that and that's simple. Now the question comes, what if I have another function that does a different thing and I wanted to let it use get char and still read the same character. So suppose we have this function like void and I'm going to just call it f and let's say we just do exactly the same thing. I'm going to say here again the same result and then that and call this after our code. So if I do something like this you'll notice well uh, if I say s here I'm going to get result and then again the same result well that actually came out to be, I think, the backslash n, the enter uh, character inside the stream. But I want here the get char to actually return the same exact character that we had read before. How can we do that? There's this unget c function that actually does that, and it goes something like this. We call it unget c. It's in stdio, by the way, and all it takes is the character you want to sort of write back. And the stream you want to write it well since we've we used get char get char uses the standard input so we're going to just type in here std input. now if i try to run this you'll notice if i say s for example i'm going to get s twice right so both this call returned the value s and this call return the value s that's because of this unget c so sort of unget c is the opposite of get see what it does remember inside each file you actually have a a uh, counter that says at which character you are inside the file well when you say get char well what do you do you uh read the next character in line which is our s that has been typed from the keyboard and then step one character forward with that uh counter now unget see what it does is uh move a step backwards and places the character we give it back on the stream so that the next get char is going to read the same character or the character we put here we can actually put any character we want here you can see here for example the character f and if i try to run this even though i type in s i'm still going to get f here because well, I put the character F back on the stream. But this is interesting because you can not only do this with the standard input, you can actually do it with any file handler, really. And, well, if you use get char to read from a file, well, you, you remember an operation opposite of get char would be, or get C in that case, would be put C, right? So you would have to write to the file itself. But the trick to this guy is that unget c doesn't really write anything to the file it just changes the actual stream seen by the computer right? it doesn't really write to the standard input i cannot for example write to it now just like put c and put char this guy also returns the character written as an int so i can say here int result equals this and if i can check if our result was eof so if our result is eof we know something's wrong right so i can say here if res is eof eof f error or something like that right so similar to put c if unget c failed to uh, sort of change the stream not really write to it because it didn't write to the file itself it wrote only to the stream uh, then an eof is returned 
Now this angetti sort of raises a, a couple questions. First, first things first, what happens if you don't have a get char before angetti? What's gonna happen? Well, if you have a file, it sort of depends on the implementation. It could crash. It could just work. It's sort of weird. <clears throat> if you're at the end of the file actually, and you're calling angetti, this guy will. Uh, reset the end of file flag for that stream so you can keep on reading without reading just end of file you're going to be able to read this character uh, instead so this is kind of nice so if you're at the end you can unget c if you're at the beginning i suggest you do not and that's all there is to it it's just a very strange but standard c function that you can use in certain situations if you do have any questions do leave them down in the comments below or on our discord server Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.